This video explains how Remicade addresses inflammation in the intestines and, in turn, helps to control the symptoms of moderately to severely active ulcerative colitis in people who haven't responded well to other therapies. Indications. Remicade, infliximab, can reduce signs and symptoms and induce and maintain remission in adult patients with moderately to severely active Crohn's disease who haven't responded well to other therapies. Remicade can reduce signs and symptoms, induce and maintain remission, promote intestinal healing, and reduce or stop the need for steroids in adult patients with moderately to severely active ulcerative colitis who haven't responded well to other therapies. Selected important safety information. Remicade can lower your ability to fight infections. Serious and sometimes fatal events can occur. There have been reports of serious infections, including tuberculosis, TB, and infections caused by bacteria, fungi, or viruses that have spread throughout the body. Lymphoma, including a fatal kind called hepatosplenic T-cell lymphoma, and other cancers have been reported in children and adults taking Remicade. Some people with heart failure should not take Remicade. Other serious side effects reported include skin cancer, hepatitis B, liver injury, blood problems, allergic reactions, nervous system problems, or lupus-like syndrome. To learn more about these and other risks, please read or watch the important safety information video and read the medication guide available on this website and talk with your doctor. The immune system normally protects the body from unwanted and sometimes dangerous invaders, such as disease-causing bacteria. But in people with ulcerative colitis, the immune system actually attacks the colon and or rectum. Medical scientists do not yet completely understand why this occurs. In ulcerative colitis, immune cells collect in certain areas of the large intestine when they shouldn't. These cells release small molecules that act like messengers. One of these messengers is called TNF-alpha. People with ulcerative colitis have too much TNF-alpha in their bodies, resulting in inflammation and the other symptoms of ulcerative colitis. Scientists believe that Remicade works by binding to TNF-alpha and blocking its action. By doing so, Remicade can block the damage caused by having too much of this protein in the body. While no medicine can cure ulcerative colitis, Remicade is a targeted medicine that has been used in nearly half a million people with the inflammatory bowel diseases, ulcerative colitis, and Crohn's disease. Patients who respond well to Remicade experience early symptom relief as soon as eight weeks and lasting symptom control. Some people have also experienced healing of the intestinal lining and have eliminated the use of steroids. Remicade is given as a two-hour intravenous infusion by a healthcare professional. When a medication is infused, it goes straight into the bloodstream. With Remicade, after the first three doses, people receive as few as six infusions a year. Talk to your doctor to see if Remicade is right for you. Important safety information. Only your doctor can recommend a course of treatment after checking your health condition. Remicade, infliximab, can cause serious side effects such as lowering your ability to fight infections. Some patients, especially those 65 years and older, have had serious infections caused by viruses, fungi, or bacteria that have spread throughout the body, including tuberculosis, TB, and histoplasmosis. Some of these infections have been fatal. Your doctor should monitor you closely for signs and symptoms of TB during treatment with Remicade. Unusual cancers have been reported in children and teenage patients taking TNF blocker medicines. Hepatosplenic T-cell lymphoma, a rare form of fatal lymphoma, has occurred mostly in teenage or young adult males with Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis who are taking Remicade and azathioprine or 6-mercaptopurine. For children and adults taking TNF blockers, including Remicade, the chances of getting lymphoma or other cancers may increase. You should discuss any concerns about your health and medical care with your doctor. What should I tell my doctor before I take Remicade? You should let your doctor know if you have or ever had any of the following. Tuberculosis, TB, or have been near someone who has TB. Your doctor will check you for TB with a skin test. If you have latent, inactive TB, you will begin TB treatment before you start Remicade. Lived in a region where certain fungal infections like histoplasmosis, 
or coccidioidomycosis are common. Infections that keep coming back have diabetes or an immune system problem. Any type of cancer or risk factor for developing cancer, for example, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, or had phototherapy for psoriasis, heart failure, or any heart condition. Many people with heart failure should not take Remicaid. Hepatitis B virus, HPV infection, or think you may be a carrier of HPV. Your doctor will test you for HPV. Nervous system disorders like multiple sclerosis or Guillain-Barre syndrome. Also tell your doctor if you use the medicines Kinneret, Anakinra, Orencia, Abitacept, or Actemra, Tocilizumab, or other medicines called biologics used to treat the same problems as Remicade. Are pregnant, plan to become pregnant, are breastfeeding, or have a baby and were using Remicade during your pregnancy. Tell your baby's doctor about your Remicade use before the baby receives any vaccine because of an increased risk of infection for up to six months after your last dose of Remicade you received during your pregnancy recently received or are scheduled to receive a vaccine. Adults and children taking Remicade should not receive live vaccines or treatment with the weakened bacteria such as BCG for bladder cancer while taking Remicade. What should I watch for and talk to my doctor about before or while taking Remicade? The following serious, sometimes fatal side effects have been reported in people taking Remicade. You should tell your doctor right away if you have any of the signs listed below. Infections like TB, blood infections, pneumonia, fever, tiredness, cough, flu, or warm red or painful skin or any open sores. Remicade can make you more likely to get an infection or make any infection that you have worse. Lymphoma or any other cancers in adults and children. Skin cancer, any changes in or growths on your skin. Heart failure, new or worsening symptoms such as shortness of breath, swelling of your ankles or feet, or sudden weight gain, reactivation of HPV, feeling unwell, poor appetite, tiredness, fever, skin rash, and or joint pain, liver injury, jaundice, yellow skin and eyes, dark brown urine, right-sided abdominal pain, fever or severe tiredness, blood disorders, fever that doesn't go away, bruising, bleeding, or severe paleness, nervous system disorders, numbness, weakness, tingling, changes in your vision, or seizures, allergic reactions during or after the infusion, hives, difficulty breathing, chest pain, higher low blood pressure, swelling of face and hands, and fever or chills, lupus-like syndrome, chest discomfort or pain that does not go away, shortness of breath, joint pain, rash on the cheeks or arms that gets worse in the sun. The more common side effects with Remicade are respiratory infections that may include sinus infections and sore throat, headache, rash, coughing, and stomach pain. Psoriasis, new or worsening psoriasis, such as red scaly patches or raised bumps on the skin that are filled with pus. Please read the medication guide for Remicade available on Remicade.com and discuss it with your doctor. You are encouraged to report negative side effects of prescription drugs to the FDA. Visit www.fda.gov medwatch or call 1-800-FDA-1088.